Well, welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Galactic Mail tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at scoring. So far we have gone through the skills below here. Um, we've learned some new events, some new actions and understood some new concepts on our way towards our learning goal at level 3.0. Okay, so far we have got our moon asteroids finished off. Um, we have created most of the spaceship. Um, we then have done a significant amount of the aesthetics. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish off the spaceship by looking at um, adding 500 points for when it lands. And we are also going to make it lose points while it's landed. And for a little bit at a touch, we're going to add in a landing sound. Okay, so Making the score is going to be very, very similar to what we did with um, evil clutches. So to start off, let's make a bit of resources. So let's make a font for this. Font score. Um, I'm going to use show card gothic because I know it's on all systems, so it shouldn't be an issue. So and there we are. So card, and I'm just going to make you twenty. Okay, so, um, yep, I'm happy with him. Done. Now I need to create a controller object. So remember, controller objects don't actually have any sprites, they're just an object which runs things. So create an object OBJ controller. Okay, in here we need to do a few things. Okay, in particular, we need to, when it gets created, so on the create event, uh, we need it to set score. So, need to find score. And I'm just going to type in here. Set score, not draw score, but set score to 1000. Because remember, if you stay landed on a moon, your score goes down, so we need to have a starting point. So, our score is that. Now, on the draw event, which is remember every single cycle it's going to draw the image, and on the draw event we want it to actually draw the score, the current score up. So first off we need to add in our, we need to set the font, so all the drawing stuff's here, and we need to set font. And we're going to choose our font, which was our score that we made. Remember, we've got to set the color for the actual um, font as well, too. So the color, set so the draw color, which is going to be white, which happy with that. And then we need to have the alignment done. And again, I want that to be center. Um, align vertical doesn't matter. Um, align center. And then I need to draw an instance of this. Um, no, an instance of the score. Here it is. Draw instance of the score. Now, where are we going to draw this? And what I'm going to do is something a bit different. I'm going to actually draw this in the middle of the room. So, there's a variable called room width. You see this? And that will tell us how many pixels the room is. So if I want this to be smack bang in the middle, I need to divide that by two. And that will actually give me, so if I've got a room which is 800 pixels wide, it'll give me 400. If I've got a room which is 640 pixels wide, it will give me, um, whatever, 640, it's 512, 320. Um, so I also then also want it to be a little bit down from the top. So I'm just gonna say um, 30 pixels. Okay, so does that look normal? Let's have a look. Let's see if it's going to appear there for us. Oh no, it's not going to appear because I haven't put them into the room yet. Okay, in the room, I need to move the controller in. I put I like leave in the top left hand corner, but it doesn't really matter where you put them. So run here. Let's see. The score should appear somewhere up here. There is score one thousand. Perfect, beautiful. It's not doing anything at the moment. It's just there saying score. Okay, so we know that works. So let's go back to the workspace. F12, we'll bring that in here. Radio, so now we need to actually have differences to the actual score, change the score value. So I need to go, close the map, I need to go into object landed because the first thing I'm going to deal with is the idea that the score goes down um, as you are landed. 
So we've already got look, we've already got the end step event here, which means this thing happens every single tick of the clock in the game clock. So why don't we just add in um, add in the score change score value here? We are, set score, and we're just going to set it to negative one relative. So thirty basically it's going to get our thirty points a second um, because we've got thirty ticks a second here. So that's going to go down there. The next thing we need to do is we need to make it um, when the object lands. No, um, when it actually lands on, the final object lands on a um, moon. But I'm also, while I'm here, I'm also going to add in the sound for landing on the moon. So I'm just going to right mouse click, create the audio here, sound, we're choosing uh, bonus. It's a cool little sound. Um, it's happy with that. And just the sound landed. Anyhow, so again, it's a WAV file, so it's not streamed, so I'm happy with that. Click here. So we need to go into the object um, flying, because this is dealing with object that when the object flying collides with the moon, it's a sprite, then it will. Um, it will give us extra points. So if the in with the collision with the object moon, we want to change instance that kind of stuff. We also want it to play the sound, play audio of um, landed, and we also then want it to make an adjustment to the score. So we're uh, here top here, the blue set score, and we want to give 500 points. Relative. Oh, little mistake. I need to make sure we set score in the controller, not in here. So I need to go back and fix it up on my magnetic one and set score in the controller because that's where the score exists. So let's see if that works. Press play. Yep, score's going down, so we wanted to see. And I'm going to try to land on him. Yep, score went back up and landed on him. And game ends. Awesome. So it's doing what we want it to do. Who could ask for more? Well, there we go. We finished off the spaceship. It's all finished off now, and the moons and asteroids, and we've just got some other aspects to complete. So there we are today. We didn't learn as so much new. We just used a lot of the knowledge that we've um, had learned in our previous tutorials, both in this and the Evil Clutches tutorial series.